The basic DC controller comes in a NEMA 1 enclosure. It has a line cord and a motor power cord with quick disconnect, on and off switch with a fuse, a lighted LED indicator, and a speed potentiometer. There is also an option to add a forward stop reverse switch. Along with the DC controller unit, you'll receive the associated mounting hardware, Dorner's mounting manual, and the vendor operating manual. To connect the controller to the motor, simply take the two ends of the DC controller power cable and motor power cables, push them together, and twist the lock nut in between. If running the motor, you find that the motor is spinning in the wrong direction for forward, you can lift the terminal box cover of the control unit and look for the A1 and A2 terminals. Swapping these two power leads will reverse the direction of the motor. To operate the device, plug in the unit to power and then simply turn on the unit. You will see a little orange light come on. If this light does not turn on, chances are you are not plugged in or you have a blown fuse. To run the motor, turn up the speed potentiometer and run the motor. To adjust more advanced settings, simply remove the cover of the control unit to access many settings up here. The dip switches are used to set the unit to work with a specific motor. Please refer to the vendor operating manual for instructions. The potentiometers are used to adjust common settings, such as acceleration, deceleration, minimum speed, and maximum speed. Refer to the vendor operating manual for further details on these settings. <laughs>